Hey everyone, Chris here from Florida Fishing Adventures. We are a new channel and I am actually building a fish cleaning station today uh, on the cheap. So we're trying to do it uh, for, for about as little as possible. Um, and so that's kind of what I wanted to do this video. I, if it interests you on about building a uh, cheap fish cleaning station, please stay tuned. But we are just starting the channel and uh, I used to clean all my fish in the kitchen and Alicia said, you are not doing that anymore, especially not on camera. So if you want catch clean and cook, Chris has to make a fish cleaning station. So I will uh, set you guys up on the tripod and seeing boat in the background. Uh, I have a little bit of technical know-how. I built the uh, enclosure here and uh, so built that from scratch for the boat to keep the rain off of it. As you can see, it is uh, Florida and we uh, are getting rained on as we speak right now. Um, unfortunately did not get to go fish today because of the rain and a little bit of thunderstorms passing by, but it is what it is. We'll build a fish cleaning station. Hope you guys like it. All right, let me set you up on the tripod. All right, guys, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I do apologize if there is a fan noise in the background that is the attic fan. I am right out front of the garage. Uh, but basically, I had uh, these two table posts um, from an old table that I took apart that basically fell apart. And I've always kind of thought that I was going to make a uh, cutting board out of them. Uh, I went to Home Depot and picked up this is 3 8 uh, four foot by two foot uh, marine starboard. You could just buy it right from Home Depot. Uh, this was $93 or $99, something like that. I think it was just under $100. Um, so I figured, hey, we're, we're into this thing for $100. Bucks. And then I picked up some bolts from my local hardware store. So these are 3 8 carriage bolts. I figured those will go in from the top, and then that way they don't get water on top of them and uh, end up rusting. Um, so 3 8 carriage bolts, those are one and a half inch long. And then hardware to go along with those, so 3 8 inch uh, lock nuts and lock washers. And so those will go in uh, from the bottom. And we'll get this thing assembled. All right, so I got my bases all set. Um, basically, just uh, for, for my own uh, measurements, uh, you know, your, your bases will be different since you don't have the same bases as me. But, um, you know, you can make these out of plywood. Uh, that would be really cheap. I've seen the really expensive ones that people have on their docks are all made of uh, really nice aluminum tubing and stuff like that. Even PVC would work. Um, you know, if you get really thick gauge PVC, some nice schedule 40 uh, and make it out of like, you know, inch and a half inch pipe and just make yourself a nice little base. Uh, I'm sure that that would work too. But like I said, since I had these these uh, metal bases already and they've been out in the rain for a couple of years now, uh, you know, they are a little bit rusty on the bottom, but, you know, you're not going to notice that from the top. So, uh, you know, yeah, works out for me. But I got all my bases measured up, so we're going to drill some holes. All right, I am going to make some marks on these holes just so I know they don't move. All right, looks good. So now we'll flip this over. And install our hardware. That's much better. Alright guys, so since we're using carriage bolts and they're going to want to spin on you, we want to take our handy dandy Dremel and a little trick I learned uh, long ago. We're going to make a screwdriver slot in the top of the carriage bolt to give us something to hold on to while we wrench them down. Alright, it's right in the middle.
Well, typical Florida, started raining on me. So I had to pack it up for the day. Uh, so it is the next day. And what I realized was these uh, nylock nuts are giving me a little bit of a hard time. Um, it's kind of uh, overkill having lock washers and nylock nuts at the same time. So I went to the hardware store, grabbed just some regular nuts, and we're gonna switch those out. Um, because these are carriage bolts and you have to use the screwdriver to you know hold them steady while you're putting the, the lock nut plus nylock nut on, it just wasn't working. So. Uh, we'll do it with the regular bolts, and I'll go ahead and get that assembled, and that's it. We're pretty much done after that. Yeah, that works perfect. So, lock washer, regular nut, good to go. All right, y'all, so that's pretty much it. As you can see, we got the bolts put in. Like I said, we just put a notch in there so that we could put the screwdriver in and turn the bolt. And the carriage bolts on the bottom are nice and flush. But yeah, it looks good. We'll go ahead and uh, flip this over and that's pretty much all there is to it. There we go, and last but not least, we can do the uh, the reveal. Plastic sheathing off, throw that out there. stainless steel carriage bolts those won't rust I got a nice work area play nice good to go now the nice thing too is this is nice and tall so it's very comfortable for me to just stand here and fillet fish I'll give you guys a measurement just for reference so the top of the cutting board sits right at 35 and a half inches. So, 35 and a half inches tall. I could sit here and I could fillet fish. It is very sturdy. And, you know, obviously you guys aren't going to have the same table legs, but this could be made out of uh, just, just uh, you know, four by four plywood. Um, you know, uh, pretty much anything. I've, like I said, I've seen guys use big, thick PVC, two inch PVC pipe and make legs out of two inch PVC pipe. Um, just, you know, basically make a square that's 36 inches tall-ish and uh, you've got yourself a nice little fillet table. I will post the link of this uh, uh, King Starboard. This is 3 8 inch four by two, uh, just right from Home Depot. Like I said, it was like 93 bucks, I think. I'll post a link to that in the description below. But there we go. Now I've got a fillet table. I can do some preps for you guys and uh, I can actually do catch and cooks because Alicia won't let me in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. And if you have any questions, just leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer them.